In this video, I'm gonna show you the just released world's best RC car. It is modeled after my real monster truck. The game over monster truck has been a lifelong dream that me and my buddies built here in my tiny workshop. So let me present to you the game over RC monster truck by Primal RC. Full hard. <laughs> this is the best RC car that they've ever made. But it could be better. And that's in that box. Should you have a look? Let's go. You got any scissors? Yeah, um, no. Nice. What have you got? Knife down there. Oh, Vernia. Oh, Vernia do. So I only just moved into this house yesterday and I'm still trying to get set up. He bought some toys though. Yeah, <laughs> what's you it? Wait until you see this. What's in here, Kev? Is that how you break a Vernia? Oh my days. <laughs> the best world RC car now, isn't it? The best. You can't get better. How can you get better? <laughs> yes, look at it. It's Christmas every day. Oh, mate. So you get the axles on, get the wheels on, then we'll take it out for a rip. And Rob over here oh, yeah. is going to show us where the best place on the Isle of Man is to give it a run. <laughs> Check out the size of these tyres, man. That's my hand, that's the tyre. Here we've got the shock. So just as a recap, here's a massive X-Max shock. And here is a Primal Monster Truck shock. So this is actually the version four of the Primal Monster Trucks. It's got quite a few upgrades. I'm gonna show you those in a minute. This is the front axle. Here we've got the rear axle and drive shafts and gears. Instruction book. Controller, some tools and charger and other stuff. Next up, we've got to get it all assembled. Quickest way I know. Boom! Man, look at this thing. It looks just like my real one. If you want to know where you can get one of these game over monster trucks from, I'm going to put a link down below in the description box. Man, the Primal Monster Trucks is the most fun that I've ever had with an RC car. And to have one modelled after my real monster truck, I'm just blown away. I mean, look at this thing. Look at the size of it as well. The thing's just massive. I mean, the camera does not do it justice. I mean, the thing is just... Absolute beast. So just like on the real Game Over Monster Truck, we've got solid live axles. Four link suspension, drive shafts down the middle, pinion disc brakes, centre engine and transmission. Now this truck here is the version 4 Primal Monster Truck. It's got a few upgrades over the previous versions. This one here is the first Raminator I had. These did suffer with a big problem of the diff cup snapping when you land a little bit on power. On the new one, they've completely upgraded the whole entire differential. They've now got 12 millimeter diff cups. We're gonna try it out in this video and see how tough it is. The steering has been completely redesigned. On the older one, you had these sort of dual stage links. Trouble is it used to bend. Look at that, you can see it's already bent there and it put all your tracking out. On the new one, they did away with that I've just gone with one solid link that goes all the way across and also check this out 130 kilo metal geared servos and the two of them the sway bars have been upgraded they look a lot more realistic now on the stock ones they used to kind of bend quite easily hopefully on this one they're going to hold up next up the shocks on the earlier versions they did have a habit of leaking this one has more seals in there apparently i've been told they won't leak. On the older chassis, it was all kind of filled in. It made it a little bit tricky to get the engine out sometimes. On this one here, it's been exposed. It's a lot easier to remove the engine now because the pull start can fit past the chassis rails. Now the real game over monster truck is actually 10 inches wider than most other monster trucks. So the primal game over monster truck is two inches wider than the earlier version. Subtle difference, but it should make it a little bit more stable. And they've done it by putting one inch extended hexes on the end there. Let's have a look inside. They've upgraded the brake servo, that's now 100 kilos. The engine is still the same. Some say it's a little bit underpowered. Some people are brushless, some people are Taylor 50, some people are Taylor 80. So it comes with a really cheap engine. 
and then once you're used to it and you want more power, then you can fit whatever engine you like. So we're gonna run this one as it is for now. Later on, I'm thinking maybe a Taylor 70. Let me know in the comments what engine you would like to see in this truck. Now the first 100 of these trucks are gonna have a special plaque signed by me. And one of you lucky viewers can win number one of 100. So the first ever signed primal game over truck could become yours. Link down below in the description. Oh, check this out. Next up, we've got to mix up some petrols. So I've got this two stroke hole here. Next up, we've got to pump it up to prime the fuel. Radio on. Choke on and hope for the best. Oh, choke off. Where are we driving, Kevin? We are going to, I don't know, you tell me. Here we are, on location. Bob's got his X-Max. Is it gonna work? <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna tie the 50 engine in there. Don't forget you can win number one of a hundred. We're gonna take it to skate park a little bit later. You want me to go? Yeah, go on. Don't hurt the body. I won't. Okay. It's gonna get faster, we've got a tuning screwdriver, so we're gonna tune it up a bit later. This is the first tank running it in. Oh, stop it! Oh, 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 I'm guessing one of the screws came out to hold the drive shaft on. Uh oh, off camera, Rob crashed into the monster truck with his X Max. What have you done? I've chipped it. You haven't? Um, You've broken it already? Uh, How? Uh, what did you do? Uh, oh. Sorry, Kevin. I need to pop it that back. There you go. There you go, you never know. You whopper. <laughs> So, hex back on, new pin in there. This was really tight, so I don't really know how it came loose, but it did. So Rob just had a good idea. A bolt and a knot on this side, boom, done. Yeah. Sorted, and then it won't come loose. But at least there's no dog poo here. There's no dog poo. If this was UK, there'd be dog poo everywhere. There's no dog poo. Dog poo. Is that dog poo? No, it's grass. Eat it. <laughs> there we go, back in action. <laughs> And this thing drives just like the real game over monster truck. What is it on? 4.75. Oh, is it? Oh, it's done then. Receiver pack is flat. So we're going to take it home, charge it up, and skate park. Oh, nearly. Get those training wheels off, and you'll be good to go. Later on, we're going to see if the game over body can fit on my electric Raminator. And we're going to hit an indoor skate park. Boom, here we are, next location. We've got the Yes Mate crew in the house. Yes, mate. <laughs> yes, mate. Yes, 
<laughs> Robbie's kindly got us a LiPo battery. Brilliant. Cheers, mate. Well, hopefully now we're going to get a little bit more runtime and down there, we've got a skate park. Pull hard. <laughs> what happened? Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> oh no! Man, these new steering servos have got some power. <laughs> to the moon! <laughs> Man, that lipo's got so much more steering. Look at that. Same side we went last time. Whee! So a slight problem with these extended hexes, the pin falls out. And the stock hexes, if the pin comes loose, it's kind of still held inside the wheel. But on the longer ones, it isn't. So maybe the solution will be some heat shrink around there. I've got some nuts and bolts, so hopefully I can fix it like that. Alright, here we go. Boom! There we go. Back in action. <laughs> So the game over truck does come with some stock hexes as well. So you can either put the stock ones back on or do the little modification that I did. Right, back in action. Oh! Oh! What did you just do? What's that that fell off? Oh, oh no! <laughs> Is it? No, seriously, man. Here you go. His trucky. <laughs> <laughs> These are the man people with something else. <laughs> there we go, back in action. I think we need to get some bolts. I've got a bit of a shankage going on. Oh no, what are you done, mate? <laughs> oh, me! Send it. <laughs> <laughs> well done, dude. So now let's see if we can put the game over body onto the electric laminator and hit that indoor skate park. 
Oh, no, if we look on this one, look, the plastic body mounts are broken off. On this one here, I put the metal ones on, it's definitely a worthy upgrade. This one here's got the fine designs brushless conversion kit, but I've also added a Hobbywing Max Force, so we can run it on 12S LiPo. We've got dual shocks on this one, so we can jump it even higher. Almost goes on, but the ESC, where I've mounted it quite high, is hitting on the driver compartment, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take that out. Boom! Fits on there perfectly. This one here is also a little bit longer wheelbase, but it's not quite as wide. So I'm just charging up my live pose. I'm doing it on the windowsill in case they catch fire. I'm going to toss it out. But anyway, I'm using these Gen Ace chargers at the moment. Really impressed with these. You can charge two batteries at the same time, up to 16 amps. You can plug it straight into your mains and it's really compact. Skate park time. Boom! Here we are on location. Indoor skate park. All the estimates over here. Will it off? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my God. AS Minimax. <laughs> drive now. Yeah. Are you sure? Ah, yeah. uh, cover your new nads. Uh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that, that clipped it, didn't it? Yeah, oh. I think he's got one wheel drive left. Look, it's all gone, all of them. You got one wheel drive. Oh no, the steering's gone. He lost the screw out of here. Oh no, look. Oh, get it now. Oh. Game over. Actually, game over. Oh, look, yeah, lost the diff front and rear. Bolts have come out there. Oh, look at the body. Look at this. That's what Rob did when he hit it with the X Max. <laughs> I did, dude. You know what's going to be funny? When you do it to the real thing. Oh! <laughs> How? <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> he just picks it up like a little toy. So I think we've blown out three differential cups and we broke the screws off of here and these links have bent a little bit more. Luckily, on the brand new version 4 Primal Monster Trucks, the thicker diff cups and the upgraded steering should hopefully stop all this from happening again in the future. This is definitely the most fun I've ever had with an RC car. And in my opinion, this is the best RC car ever made. Now, if you want to know where you can get one from, I've got a link to all of that block down below, and you can actually win number one of a hundred limited edition signed 
Game Over Trucks. If you want to win one of these, I'm going to put a link to that down below too. Future video, I think I'm going to upgrade it with a Taylor 71cc engine. I've tried a 50, insane amount of power. The 71 is going to give it even more power. I've tried an 80cc before and it's probably a little bit overkill. So maybe the 71 is going to be a perfect engine. We're going to try that in a future video. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Thank <laughs> you.